Hi friends, welcome back to your practice. This is our 10 minute morning flow style class. You don't need any props for this practice. So go ahead, roll out your yoga mats if they are not already, and I will meet you right back here. All right, we're gonna get started in just a seated posture. So I'm sitting in easy seat, Sukhasana, but you can start in any seated posture that feels really good to you. So grounding down into your sit bones, stacking each vertebrae on top of the next, allowing the crown of the head to lift up towards the ceiling. Let the shoulders drop down the back. I'm just starting to come into this present moment. You are starting your day with this practice. Seeing if you cannot worry so much about the to-dos, your schedule today, but instead just come into this moment. Come into your body. Act in with your breath, that ujjayi pranayama breath, the nose to nose breathing, that ocean sounding breath. Feeling the power and the vitality that comes with that breath. One more. And plant your hands in front of you. Meet me in a standing forward fold. So standing at the top of your mat, feet can be hips width distance or a little bit wider here. Arms can hang down heavy or grab onto opposite elbows. You might take some sway side to side like I am. Bringing a bend to your knees, just starting to release any tension in the hamstrings, any tension in the low back. Maybe shake your head yes and no, release any tension in the neck. One more round of breath here. And start to heel toe those feet back to a hips with distance. Bring your hands to your shins. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, flat back. Exhale and fold forward. We'll take two more. So inhale is that halfway lift, crown of your head pulls forward, sit bones pull back. And exhale, fold forward. One more. Inhale, halfway lift, pull that core in strong. And exhale, fold forward, plant your hands, step it back to a high plank pose. Palms pressing into the mat, heels pulling towards the back of your space. Create that long line of energy from the crown of your head to the heels of your feet. Knowing that any point that we are in a plank pose today, you can always drop down onto your knees. Taking a modification is always welcome, always available here. Big breath in. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes. Keep your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, lift your head, lift your chest, cobra pose. Pause and hold right here. So feel the elbows pulling into the side body. Finding length through the spine, taking that gaze just wherever feels best to you. Activating that backside body, take one more inhale breath. Exhale, lower down. Inhale up through a tabletop, or you could take it through plank. And exhale back downward facing dog. We look like an upside down V. So go ahead and pedal out those feet, bending one knee, bending the other walking out your downward facing dog. And as it feels good, find some stillness. 
So your heels are going to pull down towards the mat. They don't need to touch, just moving in that direction. And press your chest back towards your thighs. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Inhale that right leg high behind you, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it all the way through in between your hands. Hands framing that right foot. And then inhale, sweep both arms up for our crescent, our high lunge. So hips square with the front of your space. Ground down into that front foot on the ball of that back foot. Big breath in. And then exhale, open up warrior two. Spin that back heel down. Arms come to a T. Gazing over your front middle finger. Take a big inhale breath. And exhale, soften. Flip that front palm. Inhale, reach up and back. Reverse your warrior. Enjoy that side body stretch. And exhale, windmill your hands to the mat and step it back to that plank pose. Big breath in. Big breath out. Stay with straight legs or drop down onto your knees. Inhale, shift it forward. Bring the shoulders past the wrist creases. And exhale, lower halfway down, chaturanga. You can always take it all the way down to the mat. Inhale is an upward facing dog, or you could take that cobra pose instead. And exhale, back downward facing dog. Hips go high. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. We'll take that to the other side. Inhale that left leg high. Exhale, step it all the way through in between your hands. And then inhale, sweep your arms up for our crescent. So there's balance happening here, right? So if you feel a little wobbly, you can heel toe that left foot a little bit more to the left side of your mat, widening out that base. Gentle softening of the shoulders just to keep them out of the ears. Take a breath in. And then exhale, open up warrior two. Heel to arch alignment with those feet. That right foot is no more than parallel with the back edge of your mat. Shoulders are stacked over the hips. Big inhale breath. Exhale, settle in. Flip that front palm. Inhale, reverse your warrior, reaching up and back. And exhale, windmill those hands to the mat and step it back to your plank. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale is that gentle shift forward. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Soften your knees down to the mat. Take them out nice and wide, big toes towards one another. Sink the hips over the heels, find a child's pose. Chest softening down towards the mat. Maybe the forehead can make it all the way down. Allowing the belly to soften in between the thighs. Palms can Press down on your mat, or you can take a different variation with your hands if that feels good for you. Today, it feels just really natural to bring the palms of my hands together. Allowing the pinky edge side of my hand to rest down on the mat. So it's okay if that is not the variation that feels most supportive for you today. I want you to start to connect your practice and what you need out of your practice with your breath, with your body. And it's more of a connection back to yourself and at times might feel a little bit like a disconnection from maybe how I'm guiding you. And my hope is that you really can start to find that greater connection to yourself where you can be your own teacher, your own guide, 
and think of my voice or the voice of any other yoga teachers as more of just a suggestion for this physical practice, suggestion of where we can take it. And just start to press yourself up, meet me back in a seated posture. And again, rooting down through the sit bones, lifting up through the crown of your head. And as we sit in this place of stillness for our final moments of this practice, I invite you to repeat an affirmation to yourself. I am ready to take on the day. I am ready to take on the day. Whether you repeat this mantra either silently or aloud to yourself, I am ready to take on the day. Feel the connection to those words. Feel them resonate through your body. I am ready to take on the day. I am ready to take on the day. Sweeping those arms out nice and wide, palms meeting overhead. Exhale, pull your hands down through heart center. Thank you so much for joining me. Om Shanti, Om Peace. Thank you all so much for joining me for this short practice. I hope even in this short amount of time, you are feeling that connection to yourself. If you find yourself wanting or having time for a longer practice today, feel free to add any of my other asana practices to this practice today for a longer practice. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. It helps more people find free yoga and make sure that you don't miss a single moment over here. So thank you so much for joining me. I will see you back on your mats for your next practice.